the cardinalities of association are not limited to one to one and one to many. UML also have many to many. So we can apply many to many in our design. In the implementation, we will write Java codes. It is a good idea that you open Eclipse to implement the design. Our first implementation of one-to-one -one association is between class store and class contact. We are going to create two Java files, which are store.java and contact.java. Let's start with store.java. Here we have our class design for store in UML. The three compartments are filled with the necessary information to define class store. We are going to implement our design in Java. Let's head to our Eclipse. Okay, so let's start to code for our Java class. And we create a new package. Let's name it as store and click finish. So inside store, we create a new class, right click, new class. So we name it as store. We do not need main method, then we click finish. Okay, so this is the first part. So what we need to fill in in between, okay, is the attribute, okay. So we declare attribute, we have private integer store id and semicolon and then we have second attribute which is string private string name. So this is according to the class definition in the UML. So we have store ID. So this is store ID. The same uh, capitalization, the same cases use, uh, use name and also name. Okay. So this is the declaration for an entity class. And we provide some documentation. Declaration as entity class. So an entity class We'll have private members, and each private members we need to provide with getter and setter. Okay, so we provide for the first one, which is this one here, set store ID. We declare that public. Uh, doesn't return anything, so we put void the name of the method, which is store ID, and the parameter integer store id okay so what does a getter do again okay, uh, so what does a setter do a setter will set the parameter value to the member okay according to the name so what we do is this dot store id equal to store id okay this is the getter then let's do for the this is the setter. Let's do for the getter. The second method, which is the getter, get store ID. So the signature is public. It returns an integer value. We put integer. The name of the method, which is get store ID. Doesn't have any parameter. Open and close curly brackets. Okay, a getter will always return. What it returns depends on the name. Let's say the name is get store ID, then we return store ID. Return store ID. Okay, so now we have two methods. Okay, let's proceed with set name and get name. Okay, public set name. It should return a string. Okay, so we put here string. This dot name equal to okay, the parameter. Forgot to put it string name. Then we have here name. 
right so that is the first one oops sorry this is should be void okay and then we write for the getter public it return string get name no parameter specified open and close curly bracket it's a getter it returns the value of the attribute return name okay so the, that is the first definition for our class okay we have the class name which is stored list of attributes and list of methods all right there is an attribute that we did not declare leave it for you to continue 